The Prime Minister made several other pandemic-related announcements today, including nearly $59 million to help temporary foreign workers on Canadian farms. Advocates have been calling for greater health and safety measures after repeated outbreaks of COVID-19 among temporary foreign workers. More than 1,000 in Canada have tested positive for COVID-19 and three are known to have died from it. This will fund more farm inspections, provide emergency relief when needed, and improve the overall living conditions on farms. The Prime Minister also says the temporary foreign worker program will be reviewed to find ways to improve it. There is news today, too, about what happens after the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, or CERB, ends this fall. More than 8 million Canadians who lost their jobs or were unable to find work because of the pandemic have applied for the $2,000 a month payment. The Prime Minister says people relying on it will transition to employment insurance benefits this fall. And he says a traditional parallel benefit will be available for people who don't qualify for EI, such as contract and gig workers. It will include access to training and the ability to work more hours without a steep clawback in benefit payments. The Prime Minister also says there will be a sickness and caregivers benefit for people who get COVID-19 and don't have sick leave or if a family member gets sick and needs care. Ottawa is also extending the Canada Emergency Commercial Rent Assistance until the end of August. It's the rent subsidy program thousands of small businesses are relying on. Well, plenty of people are still out of work, but the Canadian economy is beginning to heal from the damage caused by the pandemic. Stats Canada says the gross domestic product grew by more than 4% in May as businesses began to reopen. That's far better than most economists predicted. That was Eric Sorensen explains the economy is a long way from even close to normal. After the near total shutdown last spring, the economy has begun accelerating again. Construction up almost 18% in May. Retail sales were up 16%, the biggest monthly expansion for both industries in decades. In ordinary times, that would be astounding. But in 2020, it's a modest bounce back. The overall Canadian economy, up 4.5% in May, was better than economists expected, but that's a staggering 15% below what it was in February before the pandemic hit. Even with the recovery in May and a further rebound in the numbers in June, it seems like we're still a far way off from where we'd like to see the economy tracking. Much of the economy is like that. Better, but not where it once was. We're super glad that we can get back up and running. Sydney Lunny says the green eggplant is enjoying a sharp rise in business with expanded patios. But even as dining inside opens up, with distancing, they can only serve half the customers they did before. Oh, it's really frustrating as to that we can't ha see the amount of customers inside the restaurant as we could before because we are trying so hard to practice all of the safety protocols. While some businesses mount a comeback, others have shuttered. David's Tees is closing most of its stores across the country. You're seeing bankruptcies. Why is that? Well, it's because underlying demand is weak. Or in other words, people simply aren't spending as much money as they were before. While the economy has picked up, some businesses are far from normal and will not get back to normal for months or even years. Air Canada is reporting a $1.75 billion loss in the second quarter. Passenger numbers down 96% from a year ago. Inside Canada's Atlantic bubble, one premier hopes to open up to more travel. Uh, it's not just people coming to this province to come uh, to visit and see the beautiful places. They're coming actually to do transactions. Uh, so uh, we have to get to the point where we're going to be living with COVID uh, and we can't continue to lock ourselves down. Economists say the key to economic growth is keeping virus case numbers low so Canadians will feel comfortable traveling and just going out to spend their money. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.